appreciate you guys coming out. Just open up for, for questions, I guess. Questions, right? Well, that's great. I think that's a great question because, you know, we got here, we're trying to lay the foundation, right, of, of how we're going to hold accountability off the field, right? And then we get into mat drills and, and, and spring workouts, uh, winter workouts, and then spring ball, lay the foundation of what we expect moving for camp. And I think now we're really into the detail part, right? We're really trying to make sure that not only, not only are we running the ball with physicality, just talking about the running backs uh, right now, but not only uh, are we running the ball with physicality, but are we going to be detailed in ball security? Are we going to be detailed in in, um, in, in, in pass protection, right? Making sure that everything we do is, is applicable to the game and what we're doing to prepare us for the season. So the details right now is really the biggest thing that we're really trying to set uh, to, to set in, in front and speaking from my room. And, and basically, the other thing is, I think we need to you know, really mimic what the, what, what, what the head coach's uh, uh, vision is, which is all our vision, is, is we need to learn how to earn it, right? We gotta earn our way and earn our respect here. And it starts with running the ball, in my opinion. You know, basically, when, when we play when, for us, for, for, for Nebraska football, we're going to run the ball with the line mindset. What that means is everything we do, we're going to attack with the line demeanor. And, uh, you know, you wake up a line and you do line things, right? And a line just makes sure he, if he's going to hunt, if he, doesn't, if he doesn't kill, he doesn't eat, right? So that's the reality of how, how we want to run the football. Everything we do needs to be with a physical intent. And we want to dominate every rep, right? And we're going to fight fight and goes back into that theme I'm talking about of earning every single yard, right? And that's, that's really the, the, the representation of our brand um, this camp is really earning a respect and earning every inch. And I think that starts with running the ball with a, a level of dominance um, upon tackles. Um, the other thing is too on pass protection, right? We want to make sure that we're setting the tone for, for pass protection. We don't want to be collecting the defense or collecting a defender upon contact. We want to have a great base and make sure that we deliver a strike um, that is, is setting the tone to who we are as a brand, which, are, which is Lions. How have you seen Anthony work at kind of feeling out the run block? And you, you, you framed it really well in a radio interview recently, but That's how right. have you seen him like put, put the effort into getting better at that? You know, the, the best thing now that I'm noticing is he's starting to, as he comes back to the, to the huddle when he, when, when he makes a mistake, or not, not, I wouldn't say a mistake, when he misses a read, um, he's already starting to see it himself, right? And the biggest thing is the film room, right? You get to slow things down for him, and you, 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 know, this, you, you make a fast error, but you get to see it on film slow, right? So he's already starting to respond when he starts to see things, um, um, uh, when he's starting to miss things on the field, but also starting to see it on the film room. So he's really responding well to really kind of understanding the playbook, understanding where the ball's supposed to, where the ball's supposed to be and where we're supposed to, what we're supposed to do with the ball when we get there. You know, I think ultimately, Coach Rule. Right now, we're not we're not talking about starters. Right now, right. Right now, we're really going to see who's going to represent the brand of football that we want to put out there uh, against Minnesota. Right. So, really, we're still in that earn it phase right now. And I think no one's really separate themselves um, as the clear guy. Or you know, and the reality is, we're going to have to use multiple guys throughout the season. That's that's the reality. So, the biggest thing is the bottom half of our room. We got to make sure is ready to play. Right. That's getting Quentin Ives ready to play, getting Emmett Johnson ready to play. When I say bottom half, I'm talking about youth. I'm not talking about um, uh, a talent. And um, you know, Trevin Lubin, right, being ready to play. So that's, that's the biggest thing. The other thing is, too, is getting those guys prepared for special teams, right? You know, you may carry only four or five backs, right? Those guys that are on the bottom half, or bottom half of the room, need to be solid contributors on special teams on game day. So there's a lot of things going on right now we're trying to you know, work through for camp and to get ready for Minnesota. No, I'm Barrett's a fullback, and, and uh, you know, he's, he's, thus far he's done a great job. You know, he's, he's really uh, shown us how smart he is and, and adapting the playbook very quickly. Um, he's the guy that's showing me that I can rely on him thus far. Right, We have a long way to go. Um, today was our first really padded, really thumping a little bit, so we'll get to see it on tape on how physical he was at the point of contact and things like that. But right now, everything that I'm looking for in a fullback that Coach Rule and Coach Satter are looking for in a fullback, um, uh, he has right now, right? So the ability to adjust, 
physical at the point of contact, um, athleticism, ability to catch the ball out of the backfield, and, and, and basically, if in emergency situations, need to be able to run the football, right? Who, so. Who else is in that? Who's, who are the other principals in the fullback discussion? Uh, but Janarian, uh, Janarian Bonner, he's, he, he's a candidate. He's, he's been used, you know, and um, um, Lyndon Meyer has, has shown some, some things, and um, um, uh, Clover, there's some guys that are really trying to uh, really nail the position down. And, and so we got guys in rotation right now, and I feel, feel pretty confident where we're at with that position. Yeah. Yeah. You could, I think Coach Co- Coach Campbell's done a fantastic job, um, not only with the size uh, size and strength, but also with the mobility. And he's done a fantastic job with our guys. And, and Ramirez, a guy, he can see his body is changing. You know. Well, you know, I appreciate his effort. That's the that's the number one thing for both those guys that stands out to me is. Their will, their willingness to do whatever's asked of them. That's that's a big deal. You know, and you get out there and play some play some fullback and go out there and, and have to thump up uh, um, um, at the position. That's not an easy thing to do. So, um, for guys that are willing to do that right, and want to do that and want to want to produce at it, I'm really appreciative of what they want to you know of, of their effort. And that's the biggest thing out of both those guys that I notice is their effort and their willingness to do what's asked to do, what they're what they're asked to do. Absolutely. The one thing about the running back position, I think, is that's really important. Is that every home run, every run's not going to be a home run. They got to understand when the things are messy, right? As long as that we know where the ball's supposed to insert, right, and we can force a four-yard carry, right? Every every run's not going to be pretty. Every six-yard run's not going to be pretty. But the reality is, when we run the ball with a certain intent, and we understand where the ball's supposed to be, and we're physical at the point of contact, and we finish with line effort and line demeanor. Um, you know, we expect to, to collect those four or five yard runs that aren't pretty, and that puts us in second and five. That's that's a good that's a good situation. I think I answered the question. I'm not. Yeah, that's 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 the emphasis for us right now. Sounded uh, from you guys in the spring that Gabe did really well. What would your challenge to him about the next thing you know, for him? I think mentally he's really accepted um, his daily approach. You know, I think the spring um, the one thing was teaching him how to be a a guy, right? What I mean by that is like, as far as how you prepare for practice, how you take care of your body, right? Uh, your expectations when coming in the meeting room, coming in the meeting room prepared, right? He's really, he's really accepted it in the spring, but now he's showing it, right? He's really, really confident, really focused on the daily task at hand, but also and being a really mature player off the field. That's the key, you know what I mean? The chance to work with Christian McCaffrey, you got to saw that. Guys like Mike Davis, when we were at Carolina as well. You got to see how they prepared. And that's the biggest emphasis that Gabe has has has, um, um, has accepted um, since we've gotten here is that he's really took the, took took ownership of being a mature veteran player, which is hard to do when you haven't played a lot. So um, that's that's a really key point. Is your, um, you know, Coach Will at uh, Media Days talked about if you're going to run some power plays, you're going to run some zone plays. You guys are going to have a lot of variety, mm-hmm. as opposed to maybe a team that might run three or four running plays. How do you how do you kind of coach the difference between how to run those? Well, see, now you're, gonna get, now you're trying to get me uh, caught up here. So you're giving our playbook away. No, I'm just, but the reality is, I think right now, you know, we're going to be, you know, we're, we need to not be limited, right, is, is, is what I would say. Is, is we want to make sure that we're prepared to have everything um, from an NFL standpoint, NFL style offense, right, be able to be multiple, right, be able to adapt and adjust to it with our personnel. So that's the emphasis right now is not to focus on one particular run or, or be heavy on this run only. We want to make sure our guys have a great understanding of the whole menu, right, so that we can be able to adapt and adjust, you know, um, um, and get ready for this uh, Big Ten play. Do you guys have patients that like running a zone scheme, like the, the kind of thing that you got to have that maybe isn't just running in the back of your linemen, but maybe having that half second patience? That's right. If you've been at practice, one of the key things we, uh, we talk about in that position is training the eyes, right, making sure that we're seeing the reads and being patient and understanding, right? That's that's the key. And I think it's, you know, the, the zone run is an expensive run, right? And you got really have to work at it. That's been a big, big emphasis here. And, and but, um, you know, expensive so run. expensive run. You have to, you have to invest some time in, into teaching it, you know, because, um, you know, you may miss a read here and there, but eventually you'll gash, you'll, you'll, you'll get the read and gash the defense. 
if the ball's going where it's supposed to be with the right timing. A lot of a lot of things that come with that, the mesh, right, um, the aiming points, all those things. So it's very detailed, uh, detailed run. And but again, it's really every style, every every run is 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 that way. We need to make sure that our aiming points, our timing, all those things are matched up properly. Does that go for both inside and outside zone? Absolutely. That's absolutely right. Absolutely right. I mean, everything is really about timing, aiming points, patience, and understanding where the ball is supposed to go. Absolutely, that's what you're looking for at a fullback. You're looking for a fullback that can line up pretty much anywhere and be able to be, uh, um, um, uh, I guess, be able to be uh, versatile. That's the word I'm looking for, right? So not just line up and block, but be able to catch out of the backfield, be able to line up in the slot, be able to run the ball at H. So there's multiple things that you need to do from the fullback position. I'm not, we're not just talking about putting your hat down and, and blowing guys up. We're talking about really just being versatile, and that's, that's, what, we're, that's what, we're, what we're doing. I appreciate you guys. Yeah, appreciate Take care.